I am deeply honoured, Mr. Brown, that you agreed to grace my house with your presence. Ah, oh, it's my pleasure, my pleasure, Ibrahim. <laughs> How was the drive? Comfortable? Yes, absolutely. It's about thirty miles. It's really? It didn't seem that long. Please. Thank you. <laughs> A drink, sir. I serve good scotch, as good as you have back in London. Really? Okay. Colin, I hope you are finding the weather suitable. Yes, the rains were a bit of a dampener, mm -hmm. but uh, it is getting cooler. Yes, yes, winter is very, very pleasant, very fine in Assam. I'm sure the summer is terrible. <laughs> I really dread an Indian summer. Indeed, always a burning problem. Water, Mr. Brown? Oh no, thank you. To your health, Mr. Brown, and to our continued cooperation. To your health, Rai Bahadur, and to the prosperity of the British Empire. <laughs> Can I offer you a cigarette? No, thanks. I would rather stay with my hookah. By the way, Mr. Brown, have you ever tried smoking a hookah? Well, yes, just just once. Mm -hmm. It set me coughing for almost five minutes. <laughs> Always a matter of habit. Well, I am never comfortable wearing Western clothes. I prefer my dhoti, my kurta, though I am called a native. <laughs> well, I am getting used to India. Hmm. Right, Bahadur. Hmm. I am amazed by this great hullabaloo about Swaraj. What's uh, your view on this? Uh, I mean, uh, we we have pulled India out of this quagmire. We have propped up the Indian economy. With our administration and organization, mm -hmm. and now you want to fall back into that very same mire. Even I fail to understand what they are going to achieve. Some freedom fighters are swept by pseudo idealism. I mean, where will India be without us? I mean, look at Assam, for example. We got here in 1826. Mm. And since then, in such a short while, we've we've ushered in so much progress. I mean, we've introduced railways, mm. we've discovered oil, and take your very own tea industry. It's the backbone of Assam's economy. True. Even I am personally grateful to you, English, for introducing administrative reforms all over India. And yet, Indians seem to lack a sense of of gratitude. Please, Mr. Brown, don't generalize. Not all Indians, only a few. Oh, of course, of course. But what can a handful of sensible people like you do when, when an entire nation wants to commit mass suicide? Mm. I mean, look at the Swarajis, praying, parading, picketing, and every now and then bringing this entire town to an absolute standstill mm. with their hurtals. I mean, don't they comprehend the loss of manners, the loss of output? And the irony is. It is their own loss, Mr. Brown. Your glass is empty. Ah, oh, yes. <coughs> Nobody seems to care. And what's the end result? I mean, tea exports have been absolutely ruined. Mm. Tea prices have crashed, and the market is going through an absolute slump. 
थैंक यू एंड इंडिजिनियस प्लांटेशन ओनर्स लाइक मी आर फेसिंग हैवी फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस बाय द वे मिस्टर ब्राउन व्हाट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ माय एप्लीकेशन योर लोन यस Oh uh, well yes I I have forwarded it to our headquarters in Calcutta mm-hmm. but you do understand that under the present political crisis it's a it's a very difficult Mr. case Mr Brown I shall be doomed if it doesn't come through soon Right behind up let me be frank I think I may be able to push your loan through if if I shall be very grateful to you If you can convince your fellow plantation owners to come away from their present agency houses and come into my company's fold and to appoint us as their agents in Calcutta and London That's a tall order Mr Brown but I can only try I'm sure an influential person like you shouldn't have a problem doing that <laughs> That's an uphill task Mr Brown you are asking for a very large price from me for what i am asking of you all is fair in business and war i'm a businessman first dry bahadur now i've been sent here to acquire as much business as possible you must appreciate my position i do i do but forgive my insolence you are adopting a very tough line compared to your predecessors <laughs> times have changed and times are difficult mm. Well, uh, Raiba right Hardo, everybody has his own ways of working, his own Durgada, methods of doing Durgada, things. Durgada. Yes. Durgada. Have you have you seen this? Have yes. you seen this? Yes, they threw some in my house too. Utter cheek. But I'm so happy that some people found the courage to this ba- is going ba- to create ba- a storm. Ba- by the way, Kali, this is a uh, Mr. Jeffrey Brown of McKenan Scott and Mr. Kali Prasad Chaliha, editor of Mukta Batori local Assamese newspaper. Of course, I've seen the Batori. I've heard a lot about the paper. In fact, I've Heard a lot about you too, Mr. Chalia. I believe you like to work independently, and you insist on no interference from your newspaper bosses. Yes, I edit. I don't like to be edited. <laughs> Reminds me of an old saying: Today's newspaper is tomorrow's waste paper. <laughs> good one, good one. By the way, Kali, why don't you join us? Yes, Mr. Chalia, do sit down. I'm very interested to hear your views. Views. Views on what? I mean, these pamphlets to start with. I believe they're highly seditious in nature. What's the point of such pamphlets? The point is very simple, Mr. Brown. The British should realize that they are unwanted guests. Kali, Kali, mind your tongue, Mr. Chalia. Mr. Chalia, let's talk about these issues calmly. I'm amazed how gentlemen of high standing like you and Rai Bahadur have let your youth go completely out of control. I mean these young people they should be contributing to their family's economy instead they're being swept up by by hollow ideologies hollow ideologies to us a spurna swaraj complete liberation ah, relax kali relax do tell me these militant youths aren't their views completely contradictory in nature to that of mr gandhi's i mean has mr gandhi ever propagated the use of violence i for one have great respect and regard for his views on ahimsa and that's probably because i don't understand violence do you rai bahadur why are you asking him he doesn't know what is happening outside his tea garden <laughs> all right then you tell me what's happening <laughs> yes i will i will you see mr brown we have followed this moderate path far too long and if we don't achieve our liberation in a gentler way we will have to snatch our freedom and let me tell you mr brown the thunder clouds of freedom have gathered all around us you can't prevent the torrential rains that will sweep the british out of this country Look at the green hills there. Look at the brook how it flows. 
over the pebbles. This place is an artist's delight. Poets would be inspired by this. Heaven on earth. A part of paradise. What, what do, do you, you think, think Rudra? Rudra? What can I say, Mahis? You've described it so beautifully. You've stolen the words off my mouth. But if you permit me to add, the beauty of this place is enhanced by the presence of beautiful ladies. <laughs> <laughs> lies, lies. Oh, how you flatter us. <sighs> but Indu, you are looking beautiful. In fact, Bairu, you're looking radiant too. This makeup really suits you. And this necklace sets off the color of your skin so beautifully. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm already over 50. You don't look a day older than 40. <laughs> On the contrary, you look younger than 30. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's your affection speaking, Vaido. <laughs> oh, can I dare discuss the beauty of an emerald or a ruby? <laughs> I think all Assamese women are beautiful. What grace! What boys! So fair. Ah, my dears, this uh, servant of yours, this Minoti, she doesn't look Assamese, huh? <laughs> Minoti, Assamese, not at all. Look at her complexion; she's so dark. Her ancestors hail from Bihar. Her mother was our Sardar's daughter. She was our housekeeper. She married a Bideshi. White. He was British. He was Scottish. <laughs> as if you know Hindu. Oh, it was the tea estate gossip. Minoti is illegitimate. The mother died at childbirth. I heard it was suicide. No, no, it was murder. Ha! Why would anyone murder her? Who cares? Who knows? Her father ran away. Couldn't bear the shame. And the child was left alone. So we adopted her, though she was illegitimate. After, After all, all, we are both are gentlemen. I know, I know, my dear. <laughs> 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 Jitwa, you go and find Mahi Dev. I'm fishing here. I want to be all alone. Inote, hmm? here. Let me take the pankha. No, Dad, it's all no, right. No, no, give it to me. You go and pack the things. Rudra Sah wants to be left alone. He is fishing at the brook. Dada, the water is finished. I'm going down to the brook to get some cool water. My dear cloud, take the message of my heart to my beloved. Go and shower my feelings on her, who is sitting all alone at my home, marked at the entrance with the lotus and the conch. There resides my beloved. slender and youthful her skin the color of the evening sky 
her teeth like pearls, her eyes like that of a frightened doe, her hair like the feathers of a peacock. Oh, my dear cloud, take the message of my love to her, my estranged beloved. Huh. Minoti, you here? Devta, I, I came to fill some water. Then come and fill it. <laughs> hmm. Did you hear the poem? Mm hmm. <laughs> Did you like it? Hmm? Devta, I didn't understand it. But it sounded beautiful. <laughs> you speak so beautifully. Yes. Beautiful thoughts. But not mine. The great poet Kalidas has written it. The poem is called Meghdoot. Have you heard about him? Devta, I cannot read or write. Oh. Minoti? Mm -hmm. Minoti, have you been in love? I don't know what it means. Must be at least two thousand rupees. You lucky girl, you have cast a spell on him. Be careful, Minuti. Your magic spell will wear off soon, and you will left in utter desolation. It's a pity, Kusum real pity, that the SMEs still don't understand that they have to maintain a rapport with the British just to safeguard the SMEs identity. Dada, I feel the fight should be carried on on an economic level, along with that of language and culture. What fight? Language alone cannot keep a race alive. The basis of social survival has always been economy. Kusum, we have to develop Assam in cooperation with the British and not in competition against them. Dada, what about our development? Eh? I'm concerned about the future of our family. You mean Rudra and Naren? Yes. I think it is time they assumed a little responsibility and settled down. Mm. <laughs> you are right. This time, I thought about the Barua progeny. May I get you a shawl, Devta? Hmm.
Huh? 